the dealer service center. We recently noticed that your car's extended warranty was about to expire and wanted to give you one final courtesy call before your warranty expires and your coverage is voided. This would make you financially responsible for all service repairs. Press 1 now if you wish to extend or reinstate your car's warranty. Once again, press 1 now or press 2 to be placed on the DSC or call it. Please hold while you are being transferred. Well, it's a 2016 Acura RDX. And approximately how many miles do you have on your odometer? Oh, I guess 62,000, something like that. Lastly, sir, what issue is this called, please? I'm sorry, say again. What issue is this code? 29633. Two nine six three three. Okay, two nine six three three for the zip code. At this moment, I'm going to bring you over to my license representative to give detailed information to you. Okay, stay in the line with me first for a moment. Here we go. Thank you so much for holding. My name is Cody. I'm one of the licensed agents. Can you hear me okay? I guess so, yeah. And how are we doing today, sir? I can't complain. It wouldn't change anything. Absolutely. I can understand there. Well, at least you got the right outlook on it. Um, so, so it looks like they were getting you on over to me today with regard to a 2016 RDX series. Had you planned on holding on to the Acura for a while longer? I uh, drive them until they drop. Absolutely. Well, that's usually the best way to go about it, I would think. Um, well, the reason I'm following up with you today is just because we're coming towards the very end of the cutoff period for any kind of extension of factory coverage on the vehicle. However, with the mileage and condition, as everything has been notated, there's still definitely an opportunity for us to underwrite an extension of that policy to allow you all the same benefits and coverage. I'm sorry. So I'm just following up today to walk. I'm sorry, go ahead. What, what company is this? I work for a company called First Choice Car Care. We're direct underwriters for the manufacturers, so it's Acura policies that I sell. And where are you located, sir? So the principal office for the uh, company is located out of Seattle, Washington. I'm located out of Broward County, Florida. You know, I thought I detected a little southern twang there. Absolutely, absolutely. That's just uh, South Florida Everglades country kind of twang going on there. <laughs> um Let's see here. Now, they made a notation only about 62,000 miles on the vehicle today. Is that about right? Roughly, yeah. Okay. I'd have, to go, I'd, have, and I'd have to go look to know exactly what it is. Okay. Well, at this point, the, the rough estimate is good. As long as we know we're well under 100 and not anything close to, you know, anything ridiculous like that. Um now, they say on average folks drive about 12,000 miles a year or 1,000 a month. Do you think that would be about average for you? <laughs> Not in the last year and a half. Yeah, absolutely. I can definitely understand that for sure. Um, so it looks like uh, they would be offering a 60-month policy that would cover you and the Acura through the date 10-16 of 2026 or the odometer reading 100,000 additional miles from whatever it reads today. So that gives you about 20,000 miles a year to play with there. Um, it's what they call an enhanced level of coverage through Acura. So what that means is they're covering the drivetrain, which is the engine and transmission in their entirety. In addition, they also cover the transfer case, differential assembly, front and rear drive axles, the air conditioning and heating system, uh, all of the advanced electrical components, the engine fuel delivery system, and the engine cooling system. Uh, it also covers 100% of the diagnostic costs, all parts, labor, state tax, and disposal fees. And in the event they ever had to keep the vehicle for more than half a day, they do provide you a rental or loan or car at no additional cost to you. So that's always an added benefit. Um, so far, did you have any questions regarding the policy in and of itself? No, not really. 
Okay, I got you. Absolutely. Let me just take a quick look here at the financial side of things. Uh, one of the nice things with the policies that that gives, they also include roadside assistance for the term of the policy, which is uh, if you don't already have that through your collision insurance, that's always a nice added benefit there. Yeah, but I've been, um, a, me I've, this, I've been a member of AAA for 25 years. Uh, trust me, I can definitely understand. I have AAA myself. I had to go with the... Uh, I think it's a platinum level of coverage because I like to lock my keys in my car so much. I've got a pretty bad habit there, so uh, they come out and pop the door for me pretty often. Uh, but yeah, AAA is great. I love them. And they're quicker usually than, than some of the other services that I've found around. And just for tax purposes on my end, sir, we still have risk at Pickens County? Uh, no. Well, yeah, that's where the P.O. box is. I actually live across the lake in Oconee. Gotcha, okay. Absolutely. Uh, uh, let me see here now. All right, and the best mailing address for you, it's P.O. Box number... 1962. Perfect, okay. All right. And, okay, so taking a look at the financial side of things, my apologies, I got a little sidetracked there for a moment. Um, how they negotiate this is, again, it's a 60-month policy. They have you pay it off over the first 24 months. So how they work this out is an initial down payment is uh, 195 to get everything underwritten and sent out to you. It gets the policy attached to the vehicle. Um, it's under coverage. We email you a copy the same day. You'll also be able to view it on the uh, – excuse me, on the portal that was just sent over to you. You'll also receive a copy in the mail in about five to seven business days. Uh, you have a 30-day right of review by law to look over the policy with your mechanic, neighbor, cousin, whoever you think is appropriate. You can always call back and ask questions, and in the event you have any concerns or anything like that, I'd be more than happy to make revisions or whatever you think is appropriate. Um, <clears throat> So beyond the initial down payment, the 195, it's followed by 24 payments of 164 and 62 cents. So following that 24th payment, you've paid the policy in full, and you have the remaining three years of coverage at no additional cost to you. So what's that actual total after uh, the, the the whatever it is, the number of payments that Absolutely. you? Absolutely. What's so the net what's total the comes bottom out to 39.51 for five years of coverage. How much? It comes out to thirty nine fifty one even. My, that's not a small figure. No, absolutely not. And I can understand it's not front pocket change. So the only thing I say in situations like that is the cost of the policies is really based on anything besides the cost of average repairs for the type of vehicle. Just do bear in mind that this is a certified policy with no limits on the parts or labor at any dealership of your choice. Um, so the only out-of-pocket expense to you through the term is a $100 deductible per occurrence. It doesn't go up. It doesn't change no matter what's being repaired or how many times we take it in to get looked at. Um, so I build a lot of value around the fact that there are direct policies. However, that's why they split it up over the 24 month payments. This way, we've paid the policy off over the first two years. You get that remaining three years of coverage at no additional cost. Well, I don't know that my uh, retirement budget is going to extend to that kind of money. I got you. I can definitely understand. I'll tell you, if you bear with me for just a brief second, I did just see my, my finance manager slide past me with the checkers bag. Let me just see if I can have him take a quick gander at this with us and see if there's anything we could do to try to get it to something that might be a little more feasible. Because I do understand everybody on a fixed income. It's a little difficult to plan for expenses like that. But if you bless me with about another 10 seconds of your time, let me just grab him and see if he'll take a quick look at this with us. Indeed. Thanks so much, sir. Please continue to hold. The next available agent will be right with you. Don't miss out on what may be the final opportunity to retain coverage on your vehicle. With the average labor rate now climbing above $100 an hour, there is never a better time to make sure that your budget is protected. If you have received a notice in the mail, please have the reference code available for your agent. Thank you. How long can I string this out? Thank you for holding. My name is Nick 
Nicholas, and I'm one of the managers here. Can you hear me okay? I guess so. All right, great. Now, your agent brought me on the line to review the file for the Acura RDX. Just to confirm, you have roughly an estimate of about 62,000 miles. Is that correct? That's correct, as far as I can tell. All right. One moment here. All right, great. So I do see there was a rebate available for that model year since it just hit that five-year mark. So I'm going to go ahead and approve that. This way we can get your price and reduce some. And do you consider yourself to be like an average driver, like maybe around 12,000 miles a year? Or would you say like more or less? Well, in the past, probably more, but in the pandemic, hardly at all. All right, so you're barely using the vehicle now. Right. I'm too old to go out among strange people who don't want to get vaccinated. <laughs> I gotcha. Are you vaccinated yourself right now? You bet. I believe in science. Same here. Yeah, of course. Why would you not get vaccinated? The vaccinations have already defeated many. Defeated remember, polio. Remember, remember, defeated all the, like... remember all those people who had polio? Well, you don't, because they exactly. all got vaccinated. That is correct. All right, so you know what? I'm going to go ahead and approve that discount for you. Give me one second. Especially since you're not using it too much. I was able to get your down payment to our company minimum. It would just be $100 to enroll the vehicle. You then have a 30-day money-back guarantee to look everything over yourself. And then you're covered for the next five years. Pay it off in two. That would be 24 monthly payments at just one fifty nine seventy five cents. Once you've made the 24th payment you're paid for, and then the last three years you're covered free of charge. You know, I mean, it, when you say free of charge, that's not that's really a misnomer because I paid the money up front. That just means I'm not having. Well, to, yeah, that, you know, that that's slightly. Yeah, that's why I said free of charge. Yeah, no, but see, that's that's misstating what's really going on. No. If I said free, then it would be misstating it. It's free of charge. There is no, there's no charge. You don't have to run anything or do anything at that point. It's all paid up in the first 24 months. No, yeah, well, that just means I'm under the terms of my policy. But free of charge is that just is correct. not correct. But anyway, so much for semantics. Do you have any other questions at all? No, sir. All right, and we do get everything mailed out to you on a review period. It's a full 30-day money-back guarantee. You're at the P.O. Box 1962. That's correct. All right. For the initial deposit to mail everything out, did you want to do that on a credit or a debit card? Well, actually, I'm sitting on too tight of money. I'm canceling subscriptions to online newspapers right now to save a nickel. Uh, I don't really foresee that I'm going to have an extra hundred bucks this month. We can post it. What day would you like to make the payment? You know, actually, I foresee the next three or four months being all steer. I'm not even going to go to a football game, even though I'm at Clemson. I just don't have the money for that kind of frivolity right now. Gotcha. I really wish there was more I could do for you on that. There's really not much that I can do. I mean, I really recommend keeping the vehicle protected. It's an Acura. It's a nice vehicle, but they're expensive. Maintenance is expensive. Repairs are expensive to go without the coverage. But this result with you in spending more money unexpectedly. And that is not beneficial. That wouldn't make sense to spend more money on the vehicle when you could just protect it and save it. Yeah, I know. And in a perfect world, I'd have money to throw at, at protective services. But right now, I'm having to watch every penny. I follow. It seems like you really, obviously, you know your finances better than myself. It sounds like you do got your mind made up on that, though. I mean... If we could post date it, how long would you need to pay $100? Well, it, the fact of the matter is, I'm already looking at the money I don't have for next month. 
I haven't yet paid the power bill this month. And August was hot. Gotcha. So it's, really it's, backed up. Yeah, I, I just don't have money to spend on optional purchases when the you gotta fees haven't been paid completely yet. I'm parsing it out. You know, it's a pretty tough situation to be in. Obviously, the old saying goes, can't get blood from a turnip. If you don't got the money, you don't got the money. It's just I've been doing this for years. At the end of the day, it saves no matter what to keep your vehicle protected and attempt to work around it. Let's just say, out of curiosity, let's say, like, I don't know, next month or two months from now, you did have a repair and just something common, like six, seven hundred bucks. What would you do? Would you just let the vehicle sit? Do you have a backup vehicle? Like, what would you do in that situation? Well, in all likelihood, the vehicle would just sit until I can get past the financial impasse. Understood. I mean, we, the, vehicle, the, vehicle, the vehicle's already been sitting a good deal during the pandemic. I gotcha. I mean, I'm not going to break it with it parked. I mean, electronics do go out, though. When a vehicle's sitting around and not being used a lot, electrical equipment and stuff does fail. That's why, like, your battery dies out from not using it so long. The rest of the electronics are the same way. Well, yes. Like I... if you go and start the vehicle and need a new starter because it hasn't been used. Well, I'm probably just going to have to confront that kind of expense as I come to it because I just can't pay ahead when I'm owing for the existing utilities now. Yeah, I mean, I wish there was more I could do for you. There's yeah. just nothing I'd be able to do. I'll, I'll update this. I do wish you the best of luck, okay? I appreciate it. Anytime. You enjoy your day. Seventeen minutes wasted of their time.